I am Sudipti Sahu of 7th grade and I'd like to thank Bloom Caps for giving me this opportunity to contest in the speech competition. I'll begin my speech with some interrogation. Then you will guess what my speech is about. Do you know the distance between Earth and Pluto? Or maybe the nearest restaurant or cafe to you? Or maybe you need to book a flight to your hometown? Okay. Maybe you need to book an appointment with the doctor? Wait, you want to go shopping? Let's do online shopping. It's very simple. Or uh, maybe you want to socialize and meet other people and meet friends. There's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat to do that. Okay, maybe you need a new cooking recipe or a solution to a math problem or maybe just a simple life hack. Don't worry, YouTube has it all. Now notice how all of these things, all of these tasks that were so difficult to complete around 30 years back have become so simple now. Everything is there available below your thumb, isn't it? You may get an idea about what I'm talking about. Google, the death of libraries. Everyone must be familiar with the word Google, isn't it? It's, you can search up anything in Google and just find the answer. And it's fascinating to know that a web browser has become a need for everyone these days. And I am well aware that there are other web browsers like Mozilla Firefox, Safari and Internet Explorer. But the most widely known is of course Google. So do you think it's bad that Google has made everyone's life so much easier and way more convertible? Or is it good? We cannot exactly justify whether Google is good or not because everything has its pros and cons. But I will be giving you my opinion for and against Google. You must have heard most of millennials and even Generation X say that, oh, it was much better those days. We had to look all of library to find a single concept. And not only would we learn about that information, we would gather much more information and facts. Nowadays, everything is available in Google. I mean, you, if you don't know it, just search it up, right? And sometimes you must wonder, what would happen if Google didn't exist? How different our lives would be? I mean, first thing is that we would go out more often, visit more people, know more people in our neighborhood, and know more places nearby to visit, and we would definitely not sit in one place the whole day, and we would even explore the world of libraries to understand information, and we would socialize with people much more. But, well, now if you want to talk about libraries, they are about 5,000 years old and still march on. And if you want to compare Google and libraries, well, the difference is fascinating. Now, well, although we use Google and prefer Google way more than libraries, because, well, it's quicker to find information, you can go deeper into the concepts. And, of course, they're a little clumsy, so we wouldn't want to step outside the house to go to the library. But if you want to talk about information, libraries are way much better. Why do you ask? Because libraries have thousands of books with lots of information that hasn't been added to Google yet. If you visit the library, there will be a lot more knowledge than in Google. And don't think of our local librarians as any other people. They have a lot of knowledge about books and about knowledge and information especially experienced librarians who have read many books and discussed many topics with different people. Go ahead and ask the librarian anything. They'll give you the answer. And plus, libraries have a kind of vibe and a sensation that makes you want to learn more and go deeper and deeper and deeper. And you can also visit and meet new people in the libraries and discuss different topics with them. Now, if you look at li libraries like this, they are pretty awesome, aren't they? Libraries have a lot more than Google, a lot more information, people, librarians, everything. But don't worry, 
Google and libraries are both great. Google has its pros and cons and so do libraries. And they are both great in their own ways and have great modes of learning new information. You can use Google whenever you want to. Of course, you can stay in your home and just type it up and search it. But sometimes you must make a visit to the library. You don't know what information you'll find. So here is the conclusion of my speech. And at last, I'd like to say thanks so much.